Hello, hi, uh, this is Cairo from DT Leadership and welcome to my webinar tonight about employee experience. I want to, be, to specify on employee experience by Grab. So I thought it would be an interesting point because of the business that we have after the MCO and PKP. I think uh, a lot of news are focusing on uh, grabs uh, retrenchment you know, of their people. So I want to share more on this a little bit so that we can learn something. This is a masterclass on employee experience happening now in Grab, of course. Uh, I didn't contact anyone in Grab, just from my uh, desktop research and the news that release uh, in the in the public. So let's go through it. Yeah. So I'm going to now do a bit of. Uh, I'll do a screen share so that you'll be able to see. Uh, something that I've prepared, right? So thank you for coming. Um, I'm going to mute all of you now so that um, you only pick up my, my voice and what I'm going to share. Once the session ended, uh, I will pick up some of the questions that you might have. And if any of you would like to have any, but you can always use the chat box to just type your question. I will only attend to them later. All right. So thank you so much. Yeah, I could see some familiar name here. Thank you so much. I'm going to meet all now. Yeah, meet all now. All right. See you in a while. Let's. Good. All right. Okay, this is uh, a special webinar on employee experience and employee experience. I'm, I'm going to share this because I think this is an important part that we all need to learn something from Grab because there's a lot of good essence here. Yeah, so, so Grab, Let me just undo this for a while. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Okay, let me just take this. Okay, all right, nice. So this is a masterclass on employee experience. Yeah, as you could see that um, the MCO, the pandemic is almost over, is slowly, um, getting less and less cases. And I think a lot of company now are curious to know how do they take their company to the next level, yeah? So one of the things that we wanted to discuss is about employee experience, right? And I'll be looking up for some good examples and I bump into grab announcement of retrenchment and I quickly uh, look into the press release and I was shocked to learn that, wow, this is amazing. Yeah? So let's go through it. I hope you will learn a thing or two. Remember, um, I will only attend to your chats, uh, questions in a short while after the program ended. And if you are happy, you happen to join somewhere in between the session and please mute your mic. I've already muted the rest. And please do not unmute, unmute your mic uh, Un until the session ended, yeah. I'm doing a bit of recording as well. Uh, I really respect and, and hope that I can get your support on this. Thank you. All right, let's get going. So my name is Kai Rool. I'm from DT Leadership. We are actually a coaching and training company. We help clients, organizations to deploy strategically on the innovation and leadership development through capability development. So we do coaching and training. Uh, I, start, I started a company seven years ago. Uh, we focus primarily initially on design thinking and also journey mapping the tools around it. And then we slowly we built into other innovation tools as well. And now we are supporting a lot of clients on devil and, and deploying the uh, innovation programs. Yeah, so we support the innovation leader, the senior leader to do it right and proper so that you'll be able to reap the fullest benefits of your innovation program. So the company is called DT Leadership. We, we do two things 
especially right one is on design thinking and complementary innovation tools. As you could see here, uh, innovation tools and on design thinking, we, we primarily work with Stanford approach. Uh, with the development of design thinking tools around the world now, there are many approaches. We will be able to help you as well with that. Uh, there are a lot of tools that we are applying. I first learned design thinking from Genovasi back in 2012, 2013. You can Google Genovasi and then uh, I got a, I got a, my startup went into Stanford program and public school and from there onwards you work until today. We also can support client on uh, game thinking, on agile, on innovation culture. Uh, we can do that as well. Yeah, so do reach out. And our model of coaching is based on Marshall Goldsmith. Uh, coaching, I'm a certified Marshall Goldsmith uh, stakeholder centered coaching, which uh, I graduated in 2015. And since we have incorporated Marshall way of coaching in our program. All right, so these are our clients. We work with multitudes of clients from Malaysia Airline, Airlines, Automotive, uh, Telcos, Logistic Company, Fund Company, Banks, uh, FMCG, and a few other host company. The project primarily on innovation development and leadership development. So we have supported uh, top management, we have supported middle level, we also have supported executive level. We also work with the board, uh, with hackathons and innovation camps, so many others. So in these two areas, innovation and leadership development. So, so far the last seven years, we have, we have uh, worked with 50 of our clients. We have run more than 150 workshops and we have reached out to more than 7,500 people. And we, we hope to reach out even more with webinar, with the digital approaches. We have, we have reached about thousands more, few thousands more in the last three months. And uh, I also run an online talk show called Ice Chat. Later you can go to our Facebook uh, you will be able to see some of the previous videos, live session streaming on, on this area. Yeah. Well, that's great. So now let's, let's just move forward to the reason why we're here. So customer experience versus employee experience. What is that? So we know that there are a lot of talks about customer experience. Everybody want to do something with customer experience. But what about employee experience? Yeah. In uh, what I noticed in the, during the pandemic, uh, the MCO movement control, um, order, kawalan, uh, pergerakan, during the COVID-19, the customer experience almost take a big hit, very big hit. Because most of our customers, we are unable to do with the business with them. Yeah, of course, of course, temporarily some of us go and engage our customers, talk to them, help them. But other than that, there's not much we could do. We cannot deliver stuff. Other than just things online, we cannot um, take uh, what you call uh, any payment, cash. For example, we. They're unable to respond to their complaints through our call center because all these people are working from home and a lot of businesses are struggling to maneuver the sudden uh, what you call change in the in the business environment. So therefore, customer experience take a hit, and suddenly the employee is taking another hit on the other side. The workload shifted to almost all employees. Yeah. So for those who are in the FMB business, for example, they don't have customers, but they have a lot of employees. So because of this, there is um, a sudden jump in the expectation for the, the employees. You know, very little on the customers because the customer is not there. Take FMB, for example. So, so now the employee now is having a lot of uh, anxiety, uh, worry about their job. Yeah, they are very sad, they're very concerned, they have to stay home and they have to look after their own their own family, you know, normally their kids. Of course, we love our, our kids, our family. Uh, however, the new dynamic to have them 
24 hours every day with us is a new experience for many parents, including myself, right? So this is where the organization suddenly, without realizing and almost unprepared, have to deal with the new search of employee experience. Yeah? And some of our clients suddenly make the working from home policy. Uh, some of our clients have to introduce um, a new policy for uh, pregnant mothers who are due for pregnancy, uh, for delivery. And some of our clients also shared that they have to come up with a new uh, work method for shifts. Yeah, because they, they don't work in shifts, they, they have to uh, scrap all the shifts. But how do they, they deal with this? Yeah, so this is kind of a new employee experience. Yeah, but these are the common things that we, we hear in, in the employee experience. But what I wanted to bring to your attention is there are three keywords between on, on all this experience. Although it is only uh, customer experience or employee experience, these three keywords will resonate. Number one, wanted to delight them. Yeah, You want the customer or the employee to feel happy. That's the number one outcome. So there's an element of delight. How do you delight your customers? How do you delight your employees? Yeah, And then there is element of productivity. Yeah, There's element of productivity. There's element of revenue or money. Because, for example, the moment you delight your customer, they will stay longer with you. They will buy more from you. So this is how we call productivity. Similarly with staff, they would want to stay with you longer. They don't mind working extra, particularly in MCO and COVID. I can, I'm very sure that you have heard, or probably you yourself, your job double up or triple up, right? Because you suddenly have to do things that is beyond your job scope. You know, for example, I have a friend who, who is a, a, a clerk who normally do a simple job. Now has, she has to do sales. Uh, I have a friend who is a manager in a mall, suddenly have to go down to the mall and deal with the inventory because they, they, they order way in advance to cater during the, the MCO. So they have to go roll out of sleep and go to the inventory warehouse and to do stuff. Yeah? And there's element of emotion going on, you're right? There's emotion, whether they're happy, unhappy, unsure, anxious. So normally experience is highly emotional, highly emotional, yeah? So that's why the reason uh, why we want to have this, because what Grab has done is, is not so much on, on this one, this is given, this is given, but more on this one. Now that, that captured my, my eyes, captured my attention, with the work that I do in innovation, I think this is splendid. This is great. So let me share with you what they did beyond what we see in the news, right? So the thing is, what is employee experience? So first, talking about employee experience, we talk about employee life, life cycle. Yeah, employee also has life cycle. Yeah, For example, you like, even like the job that you're doing now, probably you first started with, hey, you know, I wanted to, to have a job. I wanted to do something, right? You have a need. I want to work with the company you are right now. And then you do a bit of research on the net, talk to your friends, uh, talk to your colleagues, do a little bit of uh, research on Google. Then, then you apply, apply the job, right? And, and the person behind the, the applying the recruitment, these are the people you are interfacing with. Uh, you go for interviews, you go for assessments, you go for checkups, you go to answer some uh, idea what you call uh, testings or what you call uh, some simulation this is how we call when you're applying and God willing, great you got hired, right? So the moment you got hired, you you were onboarded. Onboarded means uh, they have a certain program to help you onboard the company. Now I, I remember, for example, like they call it induction program, yeah, induction program. These are part of onboarding. But 20 years ago, induction program is very simple. You come to the, on the day of the, of the your reporting uh, day and date, you come, they say, okay, this is the manual, this is the 
company a policy go and read up there you go then you start your work but today onboarding is very different you know? in some companies that i know they even onboard the employee two months or even one month before they officially onboarded you know? through an online learning through some presentation online you, know, you they, they discuss the company policy online one month before you join can you imagine that so before you join you are already onboarded to the company while you're working in the previous company you you are already one leg in in the new in the in the company that you're going to join in the future so this is a great onboarding program they, they anticipate they really try to lure in this, the future employee saying, look, we really want you in. This is what we call experience. Remember emotion I said earlier on? So onboarding program has, has become like that. And, and of course, it's before, and there's also onboarding the moment you, you join. In some companies, I know they, they give you a box. Very nice. I like the tactile uh, experience over there. There's, uh, not just everything has to be digital. You, you have a, a, a box. In that box, you have your ID card, they have your uh, what you call a notepad, you no, know, with a company logo and stamp, with a pen, and maybe with your stamp, a chop, uh, and then a few other stuff. And it was nicely wrapped in in a in a box, hard box, not just some paper, 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 thin paper box, but really nice box put in for you. So, so I, I mean, I've seen one. It, it looks like this, you know. They have a they have a really nice box. No, of course, my drawing is not so nice, and they even put a a ribbon on top of that, right? So you, you, the moment you, you open up, you have all this, you know, stuff inside it, right? So this is called employee life cycle, and of course, in between, as you grow the company, you, you learn, you get a promotion, you go for training, you get some mentoring, coaching, on the job training, networking with your people in, in your the colleagues in the company, and and after a while. The moment you grew in the company, you you learned so much, and then you wanted to say to say goodbye. Why? Because you have your own career aspirations, right? Career aspiration that you wanted to grow yourself to something else, right? And then of course you you keep in touch. What keep in touch? Oh, this is interesting. I mean, who does this normally? I mean, in, in my years of working back then, 20, 15 years ago, most people after they left. The company after they say goodbye, they say they don't want to see their previous employees anymore. But the thing have changed now, right? So this is the part I wanted to share, where what Grab has done is not not so much on this one. This is given. This is given. This is given. This is great. Most companies doing this. This is this is given. This is given. Many are doing this, but this one. Yeah, this one has a lot of emotion around it. A lot of emotion around it, yeah. So what 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 you you invest on? Because normally the company will spend a lot of money in you doing this. The thing that I line here, doing this, yeah. But but the moment you say you wanted to leave, the moment you say you wanted to leave, you want to hand your over your resignation, you want to tender your, you know, your last day, return back this work that you get. And this is the part where most company had an issue. And there's a reason why in, in my days of, of working, you don't want to go back to the, to the previous company. You don't want to see them anymore, right? So, so this is the part that saying goodbye, sometimes uh, some of the thing in the employee experience article that I've, I went through, they are talking a lot about not just the engagement here, but the thing that the employee make you feel around around this part. Now we're saying goodbye, make you realize whatever is happening here is discounted. Yeah, you no longer feel appreciated. You you say that uh, some some of the quotes that they say is I've invested ten years of my life here, and why are they treating me like this? Because I want to grow somewhere else. Why are they boycotting boycotting me? Because of this, why did they treat me as such? Make me feel underappreciated. Yeah. So this is the part that I think, from what I see, Grab is doing was wow. This is marvelous, right? And this is what we call a, a good combination of of the employee life cycle for what I see in Grab, because in in a lot of places, 
that that I've seen, and and also in some other companies, uh, you look at the employee ex employee life cycle and employee experience or engagement. Uh, of course, the employee engagement and experience are two different things, but but most of the time we are looking into this. We do this a lot greatly. Yeah, some companies are doing it good at applying, getting hired, you know, onboarding really nice, growing. What what about this one? Right, so I want to share with you what I saw in Grab from the letter uh, of uh, what I call from Anthony Tan to their comp to their to the staff, so that that make me feel that wow, this is a great uh, experience altogether, right? And this is some of the factors that if you could look uh, on the on the screen here, this is from Deloitte uh, Deloitte Research, yeah, Deloitte Research from Deloitte University Press. Down here, uh, these are the factors that contribute yeah, contribute to positive employee experience, yeah. and they call it the, the technique called simply irresistible organization model. Yeah, so there are five elements: number one, meaningful work; yeah. number two, supportive management; number three, positive work environment. Four growth opportunity, number five trust in leadership. Yeah, so so when I look at this table from Deloitte, I think most company are working towards this. Yeah, autonomy, slack to feed, small power team, time for slack, uh, transparent goals, coaching, investment, manager agile performance, flexible work environment, humanistic. Culture of recognition, fair, high impact, learning, talent mobility, training, mission and purpose, continuous transparency, honesty, and inspiration. Right. So what I see here in from Deloitte table, these are most of the things that we do all the time, or we strive to do all the time, or, or what we talk all the time. Right. And and I believe. From the little I know uh, from Grab insiders, that many of these are something that Grab is striving for. Yeah. And one thing that I learned so much about Grab, and it changed the perception that I have about Grab, that I think, wow, this is company is different, is what they do for their staff, for their staff. In this one, this one. I have to put this few times because I just marvel by the way they deal with this issue. It's not easy because we are in the MCO PKP a pandemic. People are losing jobs. People have to strive to look for another income channel. But now some of these people have to lose job in order to save the rest. Yeah. So let's go into Grab. So you know this guy, this is Anthony Tan. This is the Grab founder. And uh, I admire this guy. He's the CEO and co-founder of Grab. And he's known for having a lot of transparent communications uh, online in the company. He has an open door policy. People can go and see him. And as you know that uh, Grab also is one of the companies that SoftBank invested. Uh, SoftBank is one of the global venture capital fund. So Grab is very popular. It, it, it also uh, known uh, to have kicked out Uber from Malaysia and several other markets. So this is Anthony Tan. Uh, he is the CEO and co-founder of Grab. So he sent a note yeah, to Grabbers online on the 16th of June, on Tuesday. And you can find this note later on uh, as a link towards my presentation, or you can find on internet. And he sent this note to employees in the morning to say that, you know what, we need to let go some of you because of the global crisis. Yeah. They have to send a note like this. 
with a heavy heart, I share with you today that they're, they're going to let go 360 grabbers. And this is going to be something that will cause anxiety and dread. But again, it's not something that easy for them to do. Anyway, you can read, it's quite a long letter. So the moment I saw that, I realized that, wow, this is interesting. And I look at the letter towards the end, what they are willing to provide for these 260 grabbers. This is what I call Grab Employee Experience Masterclass, right? So today, before I start this session, I look into the Google, I Google Grab, just one word Grab. These are the top stories that I found on the internet. Yeah. So number one, grab to cut 5% employees. This is equivalent to 360 people. Is trouble breeding grab prioritize? Uh, grab CEO notes on job cuts, tear up your PR rule book. Yeah, this is another interesting part, right? But my point is most of the news are negative. No one talks about what is inside or, or uncover what is inside, put it to the front, what was offered inside that. So here is what this webinar is all about, that we all can take heed and take learn, take leave, and see how we can help our companies better in terms of employee experience, particularly if you have to do the same like Grab, meaning retrench or Lego some people. Let's take a look at that. So this is the, the note from Anthony Tan. And this is part of the paragraphs. Uh, for grabbers leaving us, I understand the mix of emotion and anxieties you will go through over the next few days, weeks and months. And we wanted to address that by providing financial, professional, medical, and emotional support. Yeah? That's amazing. Yeah? The moment I saw this line, I was wow. And I went through the next. What are they providing? This is stuff who are living, right? So like I, I mentioned earlier on, uh, in some places, the moment you want to say goodbye, you'll be dreaded. People will boycott you. People will not want to go lunch with you. But probably this is different because this, the, the company is letting you go, right? But again, the moment they have these four areas to support, that intrigued me. And let's go through what, what was mentioned here. Yeah. And all in all, 360 grabbers were let go. Um, and then 5%, which is only 5% of the workforce. So one thing, the first thing they mentioned is the severance payment. Yeah, Severance payment is of the because of departure. So the, the grab offer a half a month for every six months yeah, of completed service based on local guidelines, whichever is is higher, right? So now after you complete six months, you get a half a month uh, severance. Yeah? So if you work for maybe two years, you, you probably get uh, a two months kind of severance payment. Yeah, that's, that's quite a good deal. And then Enhanced separation payment. Yeah, this is uh, like separation scheme, uh, like MSS or, or VSS, but this is an enhanced separation scheme. This is the additional, uh, additional, what you get here, you get equivalent to about one to five months salary on top of the severance, on top of this one as additional assistance because during COVID crisis and the bonus for work done in 2020. So I, I don't know much whether what consists of 2020. So in other words, 2020 means maybe from Jan to December. Yeah. So in other words, you've done some work in Jan uh, and you happen to be the one going to be let go, you qualified. Yeah. So that's, that's quite a catch. And then the next one, medical insurance. This is amazing. It's getting better and better. This is interesting. Um, until the end, the medical coverage until the end of this year through existing medical insurance or stipend equivalent so you can have peace of mind through these uncertain times. Wow, this is a bomb. As much as I'm, I'm excited to, to read this um, package, 
uh, my heart goes to all the grabbers who, who are leaving the company. But seriously, I'm, I'm excited and I'm also admire the way how the company like Grab willing to extend this kind of offer uh, support to the living grabbers. Yeah, this is a good example. So the, the staff who are living get a medical insurance until the end of the year. No worries about that. Right? Peace of mind. And this also probably, probably depending on your existing insurance coverage, uh, maybe for your family as well, or only for the staff, there's something need to be confirmed. The fact that it's only until the end of the year, that's, that's amazing. Yeah? So the staff doesn't have to worry about that. Yeah. And then the next one is maternity and paternity leave. Yeah, this is another one. Uh, Encashment, yeah? it turns into cash. Yeah? All the female grabbers who are expecting and male grabbers whose wife is expecting as of the last date of employment. Yeah. So they, they get it, they turn that into cash so they can use that after the employment. And encashment of accrued annual leaves and unused grab, grab flex credits under their flexible spending account. Yeah. I don't know what that is, uh, flexible spending account or grab flex credits, but they use this to, to turn it into cash. Now the staff can take cash in lieu of this. In some places, potentially, uh, what I've seen, even my old, old companies that I work with, the moment you got to leave, all your accrued leave is burnt. You, you cannot even use them because there's so much work to do before you leave, especially if your uh, leave, I mean, your, your um, last day leave, your uh, what we call leave is more than uh, less than three months and so your notice is maybe one month or two months three months is okay two months is okay but one month some places i heard only two weeks so there's, there's you cannot take leave right so that's quite uh, interesting where grab allow engagement and the, 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 the another best part is grab willing in fact offers support offers support for career transition and development yeah one is uh, outplacement support, yeah, uh, for the territory, allow recruiters, uh, recruiters and companies to reach out to impact the In other words, they, they provide outplacement service for the staff so that they can, they can go out, but probably to uh, places a grab is willing to help that. And then access to session with a life coach and a half a year online career development tools so that it can contribute for their personal growth, professional lives. And this is interesting because Grab wants these people to continue to feel motivated after, after Grab life. Yeah? And this is, this is great because they are willing to extend not just during their service in Grab, but also as they are going out, there's an outplacement service. Because you know what? The moment you feel motivated, give any challenge, you will rise up. And I like that thought, foresight from grab management and their HR potentially in designing this kind of experience for the living grabbers. And they also have emotional support, which will continue to be able to access for three months after your last day. In other words, after you leave, you'll be able to still have access to this emotional support. Yeah, that's great. I think this is very helpful um, for all the living grabbers emotionally. Yeah, they really want to support the living grabbers emotionally because why? Remember the three key parts about the employee experience. One is delight. Number two is productivity. And number three is emotion. Yeah? Although the first two, for living grabbers, they are unable to contribute in terms of the lie uh, and also productivity, but they wanted to make sure grabbers management to make sure that this outplace grabbers, living grabbers still have their emotional support. Remember, it's not what you say, what you do is how you make some people feel. And we know 
in tough times, I would advocate, I would encourage all of us in tough times, focus on the positives, focus on the positive sides of things. Yeah, and this is part of it. And I'm, I'm really excited, motivated to see this. And the next one that I really admire the most is this one. Yeah. Grab allows you can opt to keep your laptops. You can opt to keep your laptops to help you in your search for the next adventure. Wow, this is wow, blown away. Yeah, I don't know what's the model they are offering, but you can opt to keep. I know there's a friend of mine who wanted, I mean, who has to leave because the contract has ended and she. Her contract is not renewed not in lieu of the pandemic. And she asked the, the company whether she can keep. There was a bit of a tussle over there. The company said, this is the company laptop you cannot take. And, and my friend, she offered to pay. I want to pay for this laptop. Whatever you um, paid for last time, I'm willing to pay. Although there's some... Um, uh, depreciation over there, the, the, the lady willing to pay for the full payment. Yeah, You know, transferring data from laptop to laptop, you know, breaking it down, uh, downloading them, transferring them to new one, uploading, this is just a big hassle. Yeah, you And she doesn't mind paying. But it was a hassle. Uh, she has to write letters uh, to the management, get support, and all these bosses just stay away from her, didn't support her, in any way, even to just sign a letter on her on, to show support, initial to support her taking the laptop was not being entertained. And she, she took it to the social media, is how I found out about it. And I, I told her, look, you know, if, if you really uh, want to pursue this, you can, but I think you go, you sooner you're going to burn the bridge with these people. Yeah. Uh, so later she said, okay, um, she rethink again and she relented the laptop. The company allowed her to take the laptop for a while, extended a little bit, maybe one or two weeks for her to settle the data transfer and return back the laptop. Yeah. So for Grab, they allow, you can opt to key your laptops to help you. Yeah, this is fantastic. And in times of PKP, some of their kids potentially are learning uh, from uh, school materials through Google Classroom, probably using the same laptop, you never know. And taking away the laptop um, will make the situation is more difficult than it has already been. So probably that's why Grant have this, this policy in place. And this is amazing, right? So those are the, the key things that I, I capture in a grab way of dealing with employee experience for living when we say goodbye. So if you are a grabbers, living grabbers, uh, I mean, although my heart goes to them, how would you feel if you are treated this way? Would you come back or would you not? I can tell you, I mean, for me, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely going to feel this. I'm going to feel like, wow, you know, this company, I'm, I'm willing to give my everything once again to this company. And of course, there are also talks about uh, in, in the package here about their shares, but there's something internally, I don't want to comment on that. Uh, but these are the key points that I, I found very interesting for Grab, for the parting grabbers. Right? So that's all from, from me about Grab Employee Experience Masterclass. I'm going to have a new webinar soon on how do you design employee experience using a behavior, behavioral model? Yeah. Using behavioral model, how do you design an employee experience using a behavioral model? So potentially you could also use this as an example as your tips to design something for your own company that probably could be as good, if not better than Grab. Yeah? In, in my point is, design something suitable for your organization, suitable for your staff. And I pray that you don't have to let go staff. It's not an easy experience. Uh, I have experienced that before. It's definitely not, not an easy experience. For those managers 
leaders who uh, have to do that. Stay abreast, stay sane, join this program, bring your HR, bring your employee experience, be your designer, to come and look at this model. How do you design this? Yeah. So that's all from me. Uh, I can take some questions now. And, and of course, my other webinar is on the Alpha Innovation Team. I'm, I'm into innovation and leadership development. Again, watch out for the date. Uh, it will be on Facebook, DT Leadership Facebook. Uh, watch out over there. You announce that. Or you can follow me on LinkedIn. Karo Anwar on LinkedIn. You'll be able to see my face over there from DT Leadership. And I hope you enjoy this uh, webinar. And if you have time, please uh, scan this QR code. Give us a feedback. What do you learn today? So that I'll be able to capture that. And you have any uh, questions or you have any feedback, do let us know. Uh, I'm improving my design as well as I progress doing this. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you again in the future. And do follow us on our Facebook and LinkedIn and keep in touch. So I'm going to now bring down the screen and let's have a chat. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me show up. Let me just do this. Right, so thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that we are able to um, finish this on time. Any questions? Yeah, if someone here. Right, okay, so, well, the webinar is uh, accessible for free. You, you can just join them, uh, just watch out for the date. Uh, we have one coming on Monday, uh, one of our senior partner, SK, on financial uh, management for business, right? For innovation, yes, uh, we run workshops. Uh, now the, the PKP has almost relaxed. We can run a face-to-face -face session as well. We also can run accelerated program, uh, innovation program online. We can help you with that. Yes. Yes, of course, employee experience is engagement and experience that I mentioned just now is different. Uh, engagement is more of the activities. Experience is more how you put all the activities together and leave uh, a different kind of feeling on the emotions of the staff. Yeah, that's something something important that um, the differentiator. Yeah? Engagement is just only the activities. Uh, experience is more of the outcome or repeat how, how you make that staff or customers felt about that. And in design thinking through certain tools that we deploy, you'll be able to craft new way of looking at things, look at the pain points, look at the game points, look at the journey maps, look at some experience over there. Yeah? I can have this another session. With you, I can explain more if, if you like. Just reach out to me. All right? That's all. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again in the future. Bye-bye. Design something great. Helping people get back on their feet is good economics. Thank you so much. Cairo from Little Bye-bye.